what's going on everyone? Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter here. I'm going to do a quick tip shipping video for you here that could save you a lot of time and money in the long run just by realizing the importance of one special letter of the alphabet. So let me show you what I'm talking about uh, through an example. Uh, today, uh, Jesse Morgan, a subscriber uh, to this channel, had uh, purchased one of the items from my jewelry lot uh, unboxing so she got this nice little uh, turtle bracelet here she actually picked up two items she got the um, crab uh, bracelet as well so that was cool so but we're just gonna focus on on this piece for now because one of the things that I want to show you about it is that it's not a completely flat piece so the back of it is uh, flat but if you look here the shells obviously as you would expect uh, they have you know, a roundness to it there. So they're, they're elevated. And so anytime you have things like this, uh, they're at risk of getting damaged from pressure. A lot of people think, for example, that, you know, plush teddy bears and stuff and plush stuffed animals are totally safe to just throw in a poly mailer. Well, not so if they have these plastic or glass beaded eyes like this, they could get damaged. So you need to make sure uh, that you protect them. Now, how are we gonna protect something like this uh, from getting damaged. Well, you know, one thing that we like to do is we have these little jewelry bags that we put these things in. You could buy these really cheaply, you get them in like, you know, lots of a hundred and uh, only cost you a few bucks. But, you know, we put it in here and I think that, you know, most people would do something like that. But then what's the next step, right? What are you going to do? Well, you're probably going to get a piece of bubble wrap. So we've got, you know, a little small bubble wrap, you know, piece right here. And so I think what the average person would do is they would lay this in the middle of the bubble wrap and then they would fold it like so and then fold it this way. And then they'd probably just, you know, get a piece of tape and just tape it right here. And then, you know, we've got these two flaps here. So I think, you know, an average, you know, seller is gonna just fold it over like this, fold it over like this, Put a piece of tape on it and then off it goes right well what does it go into you know usually people are going to put something into a box now this is like the average small size box that someone might have that they're going to put it into but as you can see there's a lot of void space that needs to be filled up there and you don't want your item just tossing around inside of the box so you know people are probably going to take some you know air pillows put them in the bottom, put a little layer there, put this up top, put this right on top of that so you have it kind of sandwiched and then fold it over and tape it up and off it goes. Or some people will have a smaller box. So these small uh, eBay boxes are great. These four by four by fours, I love them. So some of them I use something like this. And so you put it in here and you don't have as much void space. So all you got to do is maybe, you know, fill it with one of these. Maybe you take another piece of, or a couple pieces of, you know, small bubble wrap, put it in there. Or, you know, maybe you get a large piece of bubble wrap and, you know, stuff it in there with the big large bubbles and, you know, fold it up and off it goes. Now, those things that I just showed you um, would be likely sufficient to protect it. The problem is you had to use a lot of void space fill. And so that costs money in the long term. So remember from the two unboxing videos that I showed you, uh, just of the, of the animal jewelry items, there's hundreds of items that we have to ship out like this. Then there's the Disney jewelry lot unboxing that I showed you. Same thing. You know, there's a lot of items uh, in there too. So over time it adds up and that's a lot of boxes and a lot of void fill which adds up to a lot of money, plus it takes extra time compared to what I'm gonna show you uh, in a moment. Now, what some people like to do is take it and put it in a poly mailer. Now, you could do that. The problem, though, with putting it in a poly mailer, if you have it just like the way that I just showed you here, is that while this side is good right here, this side is fine, because you put you know, both of those layers right on top of one another, the problem is you could still feel this right through the bubble. You could still feel the beads. And if 
you put it in something like this, so let's say we have it like that, okay, this part's facing right here, and just someone comes along and just puts the wrong amount of pressure in it, if it's in the post office, someone puts a giant heavy box on top of it, someone just tosses it and whips it, something like that, there is a chance that that piece can get broken. And this is just an example. You could think of other types of little breakables like this, little figures, figurines that you might send out um, that could get damaged in this way. So what do we do to fix this so we don't have to use the boxes, but could still use something like this, like a little poly mailer, um, little padded envelope. So we're going to take this out. Okay. And I'm just going to grab a brand new piece of uh, bubble wrap, small bubble wrap again. So just gonna grab this fresh piece right over here. And I'm just gonna take this now, okay? We're just gonna put it right in the middle. And we're gonna fold this over again. And we're gonna fold that over again. So the same thing that I just showed you before, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna tape this, put this down. Now I'm going to have to deal with these flaps again. So here's where that letter of alphabet comes in. We are going to fold this piece over right on top, just like that. So you see, just like that. Just put a little piece of tape, fasten it. But now, instead of taking this piece right here and folding it on top, leaving this part exposed, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap that part right around on the other end. So, we're just gonna tape it then like so, and tape it like so. And so now on the side, what you basically created, and you'll see this better if you have like a bigger item inside, is that it's shaped like the letter S. And this helps because it pads it on both sides. Now you cannot at all feel that uh, turtle shell in any way, you're just getting the bubbles. And the other thing that's awesome about it is you could, well, I'll also take a piece of tape like this. Now, some might say this is a little overkill, but I think it gives you extra protection. Put it like this, just tape it like that. You know, if you want to be nice, you want to trim the edges off a little bit, you could do that. But then you just put it in here, seal it up, and you are all set. And if you use a padded uh, envelope like this, you've got extra protection. So this is gonna save you money because first of all, you don't have to use any void fill whatsoever. None, zero, zip, nada, nothing. In addition to that, you don't have to use the boxes anymore. And just think about it, just look up the cost of boxes versus poly mailers. So this is gonna just save you a lot of money that way. The other thing is that over time, it saves you time because you don't have to put boxes together. You don't have to go grab void fill, put it in. It's just a quick, easy process. This works by utilizing surface area. You're maximizing surface area, taking the same exact material, but just using it in a different way by changing the configuration. And that's how it works. Save time and money using this approach. I know some of you watching this already use this, uh, but there are a lot of people uh, who are new or people who have actually been doing this for a while and never thought to do this, and it really can save you a lot of time. So if this helped, uh, or if you've already been using it, let me know down below how effective it's been for you. But for me, I've never had anything damaged using this. And yes, you could combine multiple items inside uh, as well doing this. So uh, again, uh, thank you, uh, Jessica, for your support and everyone else who's, um, you know, expressed support uh, with the uh, animal jewelry lots and some of the other uh, unboxing that uh, I have done. Now, uh, just as a little programming note, do not miss my live show tomorrow night. Uh, that's uh, going to be Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have the legendary Wade's Ventures coming by, and we are going to talk about uh, sourcing and selling through online auctions. This is a topic that has just exploded, especially over the last year. In fact, it's actually where I got these uh, animal jewelry lots is through online auctions. So uh, it's going to be particularly important now that we're uh, entering this last phase uh, of the pandemic. And so sourcing is uh, drying up in terms of, you know, places where you could go, you know, and get like live inventory and stuff. So uh, hopefully it's going to be a show that's going to help a lot of people out. We're going to give people like some insider tips and stuff. So 
Don't miss it. Turn your notifications on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next one, everyone. Take care.